What is going on, Ropey? And welcome back to the channel, guys. So this week we're gonna be trying out some uh, new deer attractants. And for this week, I got some Buck Jam Instant Mineral Licks, uh, salty, sweet, juicy mineral treat right here. Picked this up at Walmart for about ten dollars. Really nice stuff. Really thick stuff. Real gooey stuff. And to pair that, I found some uh, stuff at Walmart that I've never seen before, but it looked really, really good. It's called Apple Bomb. I don't know if y'all ever seen this before, but it's pretty, pretty nice stuff. Um, I got it on sale for, uh, they had it marked down to $8. I think it was originally like 10 or 11. But yeah, it's got some pretty good stuff. Crushed apples, a lot of crude protein, crude fat, everything that's really good for the deer, especially for antler growth and stuff like that. So it looks like some really, really nice stuff. They got a whole bunch of uh, list of ingredients on the back. If y'all ever get interested, definitely check it out. Uh, certified long range deer attractant, protein, fiber, minerals, vitamins. More powerful than corn is what it states at the bottom. So we'll see uh, on the back on how to use. It does say uh, to spread evenly across the site. Don't pour into a pile, which I don't think it's really gonna matter if you put it in a pile. So we'll just find out now. We're gonna do the smell test like we've been doing. Ugh. Oh yeah, definitely a hint of apple. Um, hold on, let me cut it open a little bit more so y'all can see in there. There you go. I'm trying not to pour it out. But uh, if you can look in there, it looks like corn and like little pellets. And I guess that's the crushed apple. And that's pretty cool. I haven't had a bait out here yet and tested a bait yet that had pellets in it. But you definitely get a sweet smell of uh, corn. And uh, look at this, that's just on top. It's a little piece of corn. Uh, there's definitely some apple, and I think that's what the pellets are right here. I think those are the apple. Yeah, you have a whole bunch of these little little corns in here, which I think is really nice. Piece of wood for flavoring, I guess. But uh, yeah, some really nice stuff. So I'm gonna put it right here in the pile where I've been putting it. Let me bring y'all down so y'all can see. Yeah, right there. So. First thing I'm gonna put out is the uh, apple bomb. Hold on, let me turn it on. There we go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna pour out is uh, gonna be the apple bomb right here. Like I said, I don't know if y'all have this in your area. This is a new bait that I haven't seen before. So if y'all got it, you know, definitely check it out. So it said to pour evenly and not into just a pile. So I'm gonna pour it all right here. All the apple bomb so that's all of this now next up we're gonna do the buck jam and we're gonna put that all around it and on top of it and make like a nice soup out of it oh wow guys whoa this stuff is potent wow that is like apple syrup that is so freaking strong holy crap that is stronger than i think the deer cane i mean not in the molasses smell but in the ooh, ooh, mm -mm -mm, juiciness I gotta see this real quick. Oh. <laughs> that is just satisfying to watch come out. It's like so thick and it smells so good. Oh man. I'm just gonna... All right. 
right, and that is it for all the butt jam. And I gotta say, this stuff smells freaking amazing. Like, it's good. It smells like super sweet, juicy apples. And I don't know other, which other way to explain it, but it's some good stuff. Good stuff. And I uh, never used it before, so it's my first time checking this stuff out. So, you know, as the per usual, I have the uh, camera behind us on the tree. We're gonna be watching this pile, and over the next five days, we'll be taking video of whatever creatures might wander over here and uh, check out this pile. Hopefully it's uh, some big old white-tailed deer because that's really our main target this year since rifle season is just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five days away. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it draws in some uh, big white-tail, maybe a few uh, more doe. Hopefully he still have that big buck around. I haven't seen him in a few days, so kind of getting a little discouraged with that, but I have a feeling he's still out there roaming around. So. No worries. Uh, so like I said, in five days we'll come back and we'll see what the camera has on this pile. Got a good feeling about it. All right, y'all, it has officially been six days since I put out the apple bomb and the buck jam. I let it go a little bit longer because the weather completely did a 180 on us. It went from being the 60s and 70s and sunny to now it's in the 30s and, 40, uh, 30s and 40s and it's just raining. It's very dreary outside. It's dark. So it's like the dark winter is starting to like really set in here in East Texas. Uh, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I didn't get a whole lot of clips, but I'm going to show you all the few clips that I did put on here. Uh, a whole bunch of them were a bunch of squirrels running around and I didn't want to bore y'all with showing y'all the squirrels just running around. And they they didn't even really eat the apple bomb or the buck jam they just ran around like the pile and we were playing with each other because i guess the squirrels are mating as well so i'm gonna start off here with the first clip and it is of course of the uh, possum that we've been having actually uh this looks like a little bit smaller of a possum so it might be a different one but he came out in broad daylight this is at 12 14 in the afternoon and he went to town on it, just sitting there gobbling it all up so the possums definitely be loving the corn out here Now here's Bushwhacker, uh, you know it's him because he has the snare on his antlers. And uh, he came in and uh, nosed down on it and pretty much started going for it. Now, the one thing I know about this deer very, very well is anytime I put out apple corn from Walmart, he will ignore everything else and just eat on the apple corn. He absolutely loves apples. That is probably one of his favorite things to eat. So it's no surprise here that with the apple bomb and the buck jam smelling just like apples, there's all that apple flavor going on like he was definitely interested and you can see the snare tapped him on the nose and he's like okay that's enough of that so um, I really hope to uh, get him this year he is one of my top priorities uh, besides the other buck that I've only seen in person we have not got on camera and he is just wide he is a wide frame uh, big buck but I've only seen him from maybe 200 yards away so I really didn't get like good eyes on him but bushwhacker for sure if he comes out Anytime that I'm out there, he's going down for sure. I'm going to harvest him. and He's going to be a great deer to have to my collection. Oh, so, fingers crossed. But here with the weather lately, you know, there's just no telling what's going to go on. Uh, if, if you're in here in East Texas, you know how the weather's been lately. Just completely did a 180 on us. It flipped. So, we are now in the cold season, getting the cold front coming in. It's supposed to be like that for probably the next two weeks. We are supposed to get some sun this weekend, and this weekend I'm gonna go out to the blind and the property and uh, really hope we can get a swan, guys. I'm really hoping. Um, as the season gets closer and closer uh, to an end, you start like getting a little bit worried. and All these what ifs are going through your head, like what if I did this different? What if I did that different? But we still got time. We still probably have a month left, so we got time, no rush. Uh, it's just the pressure is starting to sit in but no biggie. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't have more clips to show you about this. Uh, I blame the weather, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Apple Bomb and Buck Jam, definitely say it is a heck of a combo. Definitely recommend it. It did bring him a bushwhacker and he did love it. You saw him gobbling on it. So I would definitely recommend it. Definitely try it out. See how it works on your property. And if it ends up working great, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear back from y'all and hear y'all's feedback on the product. But guys, that is all I have to show y'all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Will Action channel. Make sure to give me the big thumbs up and hit the notification bell. If you want to see more awesome bait reviews like this, guys, I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.